This video, I will show you the easiest ways to create some really high-end looking home decor. Stay with me. This video is sponsored by Timu, which is an online marketplace where you can buy anything your heart desires. Hey dolls and friends, welcome back and thanks so much for spending part of your day with me. If you're new here, my name is Amber Michonne and on this channel I create high-end farmhouse inspired home decor using majority of Dollar Tree or other affordable items. But if you're not new, hey doll, hey. Today's video is all about the items that I got from Timu in regards to crafting. I love all of my DIYs that I created in this video and I cannot wait to share them with you. You guys also said you wanted to see some more everyday decor DIYs so here I am obliging. I am happy to do so to give you some more inspiration to create during the time that you're able to but you guys I really love how these all turned out. I hope you guys do enjoy this video and if you do and make sure you give me a big thumbs up it definitely helps on my channel make sure you also share this video with anybody else that you think would enjoy it and if you knew love what you see but also love all things home decor DIY on a budget I would also appreciate if you consider subscribing and hitting the bell right next to it so you're notified every time that I upload all right dolls let's go ahead and get started for the first DIY I'm taking this classic um animal sign it's kind of like on some cloth like kind of like a canvas uh fa face and then I'm just going to take a sign that I got from Dollar Tree um a while back I think this I got this like at the beginning of the year and also some um buffalo check uh fabric from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to use some Mod Posh. I'm going to use a generous amount of Mod Posh using a foam brush and do a pretty thick layer of Mod Posh on my sign and then lay out and smooth out my fabric right on top. You guys, I have said for a long time that I love farmhouse style, but I've never really been a fan of all the animals, but that is changing with time as I create more and get more into you know, just a love of farmhouse decor. I'm really loving, especially with the, the animals that are stacked. I think those are super adorable. Anyways, after I put the Mod Podge down and smooth out my fabric, I do a thin layer on top and then I cut off the excess fabric. I'm going to set that aside to dry and I'm going to work on this canvas sign. Now, I really like distressing some of my pieces. I don't like a lot of heavy distressing, but I wanted to do something a little bit different and kind of transform this sign. So what I'm gonna do is take my scissors and just kind of cut down the sides and just get some frayed pieces on the side of it. It was a lot of trial and error, but I realized that this method, taking my scissor and not cutting it, but just kind of scoring the top and the bottom of the fabric because the I wasn't able to pull like the string part of it off of it. So as I'm doing it, I just realized that scoring it is actually going to get the effect of the kind of tattered weathered look that I wanted. So I did that on the top of the bottom and I just kind of ripped off some of the threads on the sides. And I really like how this is coming together. So the next thing I did is took some distressed ink. This is called antique linen. I got it from Amazon and I'm just going to uh, distress my sign. Now I tried it on the back first because it's my first time using it and I wanted to make sure that I liked the color of it. So then I go around to my sign and do all of the sides and like the corners pretty heavily. And then I do just a little bit on the inside just to give it that, you know, farmhouse charm that I absolutely love. And I know a lot of you love. So after I'm satisfied and my eyes are happy with the way that that looks, I go back to my buffalo check sign and I trim down my sides so that way I can have some smooth ends and some corners. Then I take a sanding block. I got this from the Dollar Tree. Mine are still pretty useful for me. I have three of them. Um, when they get down to you know nothing, then I'll get another one. But I have a bunch of sanding paper. So anyways, I just uh, do the sanding in one motion where you just sand it down and then the, the fabric rips right up and you can tell the difference on here which ones are complete and which ones are not so I just go around and do all four sides of that and now I'm ready to put my um, animal sheet on top of my sign and I just use a bead of hot glue you can also use Mod Podge for this if you want but for video purposes I used hot glue so it dr dried a little bit faster for me to get this DIY out to y'all um, and then I took my distress ink again and just kind of brought it all together with that um, ink color on the buffalo check sign and it looks so so good you guys 
I absolutely love this. I showed my husband and he was like, wow, that looks really good. Like, it looks like you bought that somewhere. So I'm super happy about this and I cannot wait to make more of these. I like about you, I like. You're crazy for saying I should stop. The next DIY is going to be pretty simple. I took this. It's kind of like a sticker sign uh, from Timu and it has a stack of coffee cups or tea, whatever you drink. So I took this like cutting board, faux cutting board sign from the Dollar Trees for Easter. But if you know me, I cover my front with brown craft paper if I don't use the front or don't like it. But in this case, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to make it a double edge double-edged a double-sided sign so I kept the front the same painted the back with some white chalk paint I gave that two coats after it dried I just took my sticker and I just cut off the bottom portion of the cup uh, because it just didn't fit all on there and I think it turned out perfect I did take my time in cutting this you guys to make sure that the line looked the way that it was supposed to then I just stuck it onto the front of the cutting board and I have these rub-on transfers from the Dollar Tree I took the one that said happiness is homemade I thought it was super cute to put on here and I just rubbed that on to the side of my um, coffee mugs and then I needed something to bring this all together and instead of distressing this I thought I'd just keep it classically simple and I just wrapped some nautical um, rope not nautical rope is this nautical rope? some jute rope <laughs> around the handle of <laughs> the sign just using a bead of hot glue and it works both ways see with the cottontail egg farm and then the coffee mugs on the other side i think it's perfect um kitchen decor just you know something to add to your space Next up, I am using the infamous, <laughs> the infamous um, wood hangers. I have gotten so many comments and still getting comments on my Timu haul about these because I was so confused as to why they all had magnets on there. And I got, once people started commenting, the light bulb went off in my head. But anyways, I'm using these about three or four different ways. So the first way I'm going to take these butterfly canvas like signs that I got from Timu. I absolutely love these. When I get my baby girl's nursery together they'll probably go in there or like my vanity area but anyways you can use these the way that they are completely intended for just putting two on the top and two on the bottom they're magnetized so they would just stick together and it's just so funny how I was so confused at what I was doing <laughs> when I first got these but yeah anyways I just paired these with the uh these butter butterfly signs that I got and I think they're adorable super easy it's more like a hack not really a DIY and it will elevate your style and make them look so so cute but what I'm going to do is a couple other different things I'm going to take some canvas leftover fabric that I have from the Dollar Tree canvas signs I use a lot of like the wood pieces to make like lanterns or other signs or frames or whatever so the first thing I do is just try to iron out the little creases that are on the sides. It kind of worked. It's probably like 50% good, but it didn't bother me too much. Then I took this silk screen stencil. It says, welcome to our farmhouse. And I actually picked this up from Amazon. Um, I will have it linked down in my Amazon store in my description box. Um, but I thought this was super adorable. I think you can get this on Chalk Couture too. Um, but I haven't purchased anything from Chalk Couture in a very long time. And I also got this paint from Amazon as well, which it will be linked in my Amazon store um, for you. And I really, really like this paint. I got the tool from Amazon too, but in the next DIY, I do the same thing here, but I use my Chalk Couture actual squeegee thing. So I painted, I did the whole sign in black and then I did the bottom like, floral part I did that green because it, it looked like greenery to me and so I just rubbed it all on there or scraped it all in there and then pulled the sign up and it's so pretty I absolutely love silk screen stuff y'all I don't do it enough and I have so many silk screen stencils that I need to start using them way more often because they're quick and easy and honestly getting them from Amazon is just a little bit more affordable for me. So what I did with that sign is I just put the two 
um, rod pieces or the wood pieces on top to make a sign. I'll show you the reveal in a minute. Then for the next one, I took another piece of the canvas fabric that I have from a sign from the Dollar Tree. And I have an assortment of silkscreen stencils from Amazon and Chalk Couture. Now, I have had Chalk Couture um, before. I was um, I was signed up for like a year and I just canceled it because a lot of the stuff they send, I just get like one a month or whatever. And I don't really use them that often. So I am I do the things where I I know I'm going to use it so I'm going to buy it. So anyways, I just randomly put these pieces all over this this canvas sign. I don't know if you've seen but I've seen a lot of signs where they have just a bunch of different like sayings and pictures and phrases and stuff on a sign. So I thought that that would be fun to do and then I mixed up the colors with my black and like my little green color and yellow. I thought it was so cute and really fun farmhouse colors. Um, and then I just cut down the, uh, like I trimmed down the sides of the sign. And then I'm doing the same scoring technique with my scissors um, to get more of that frayed distressed look. And then I go back with my um, antique ink um, pad and then um, distress that all around again. I do all my distressing. I go outward and then in. I start out and then in because I want to make sure it looks right. It comes together and little by little, my eyes scream happiness at me. And then once that's done, then I just put the two pieces on top. Now, these two wood pieces are the bottom portion of the four piece of the hanger, right? So I had to make my own hanger for this. I decided to use some jute. And then um, fished through three white uh, painted wood beads. I already had these on hand. I paint so many beads and I always use less than I actually paint. So I just have a stash in my drawers. And so then I just hot glued the knotted um, jute onto the sides. And that's it for these ones. I think these turned out super cute, you guys. I know that the wood pieces are intended for hanging two at the top and two at the bottom. But the versatility that they have for you to make two signs out of them or hang two signs out of them cannot be beat. And I think these are so adorable. I absolutely love these. And it just makes me so excited to make everyday farmhouse decor. For my last DIY today, I'm taking those gorgeous Timu uh, florals that I got and some greenery that I already had on hand, taking a wood round, not a wood round, an MDF round from the Dollar Tree, covering the back with brown craft paper, painting the front with some white chalk paint from Waverly. I did two coats. And then I am going to take, um, this is some eucalyptus greenery that I already have on hand. And I'm just kind of cutting down the stems and I'm going to staple them using my staple um, gun tool <laughs> and um, putting that down. I didn't use that much hot glue on this DIY. Um, I've just been trying to figure out different ways to put down florals and greenery on top of my wreath or wood round forms um, instead of using too much hot glue. Um, and I think the staple technique works wonders. If you have a wire wreath, I think the zip locking, um, zip locking, <laughs> zip tie technique is good. But anyways, I cut down a bunch of these uh, roses that I got from Timu. Um, I used the white ones and kind of the burgundy red ones. I thought I was going to use the purple ones, but just wasn't kind of meshing the way that I wanted it to. Um, I used a little bit of like the purple, more of like the softer colors that went better with like the burgundies and the reds. And I just am gluing around. I lost a lot of the footage uh, showing you how I, you know, went all the way around or like did a moon shape of it. But yeah, I just hot glued down where I saw fit the roses needed to go, the greenery pieces, the little floral accent pieces, which are like the little berries and little balls and stuff like that. Just do it. You guys always know what I say. Do it until your eyes are happy. Keep going until your eyes are happy. If you're not sure if they're happy, step away, come back an hour later, and then ask your eyes again. <laughs> but then after that, I have this galvanized home word that I wanted to hot glue onto the front of it, but I didn't really like the galvanized look so I ended up actually painting this using some hazelnut chalk paint um, well I used super glue that on the front of the sign and that's it for this one I really love how this turned out I really really love this something about you I like about you I like I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you if only
all I have for you today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments down below which one happens to be your favorite and which one you are going to try. Also, make sure you are following me on all of my other social medias. I would love to connect with you over there. All right, be blessed, stay safe, and I will see y'all on the next one. Bye. Nobody loves me.